back to Underwater Math. Today we are at my restaurant to learn how to add and subtract fractions with common denominators. The first thing we need to make is chocolate chip cookies. To make my famous recipe, I combine two and a quarter cup of flour, three quarters cup of sugar, and two quarters cup of milk. What is the total amount of ingredients I have mixed together so far? To find out the total, we can first add up all of the fractions. One fourth plus two fourths plus three fourths equals six fourths. Remember, when adding fractions, you add the numerators, but the denominator stays the same. This is why you need a common denominator. Our answer of six fourths is greater than one whole, so we need to convert it to a mixed number. There is one set of four fourths, or one whole, in six fourths. We can pull out the set of four fourths, and we have two fourths left over. Four fourths is the same as one whole, so six fourths is equivalent to one and two fourths. If we add this to the two whole from our flour, we can find our total ingredient amount. 2 plus 1 and 2 fourths equals 3 and 2 fourths. Then, I added in 1 and 1 fourth cups of chocolate chips. How many total ingredients do we have now? We know we had 3 and 2 fourths cups from the first part of the recipe. Let's add that to our 1 and 1 fourth cup of chocolate chips. We can first add our whole numbers, 3 plus 1 equals 4. Then combine our fractions, 2 fourths plus 1 fourth equals 3 fourths. We can add these two fractions because they have the common denominator of 4. In total, we have 4 and 3 fourths cups of ingredients. After our cookies were done, we scooped ice cream. We started out with 9 and 6 sevenths gallons of ice cream. We sold 4 and 2 sevenths gallons. How many gallons did we have left? Again, we can start with our whole numbers. 9 minus 4 is 5. Because our fractions have the common denominator of 7, we can subtract those next. 6 sevenths minus 2 sevenths equals 4 sevenths. We had 5 and 4 sevenths gallons of ice cream left. Finally, we made 9 loaves of bread for the morning. 3 ninths of the loaves were carrot, and 2 ninths of the loaves were zucchini. What fraction of the loaves of bread were neither zucchini or carrot? First, let's add up how many loaves are carrot and zucchini. 3 ninths plus 2 ninths equals 5 ninths. To find how many loaves are not carrot or zucchini, we can subtract 5 ninths from the total, 9 ninths. 9 ninths minus 5 ninths equals 4 ninths. Thanks for baking with me today. Have fun practicing.